Greetings viewers, thanks for coming back. We're going to talk a bit more about ACNAS today. Abdominal cutaneous nerve entrapment syndrome. That funny condition that causes chronic abdominal wall pain. The sort of pain that drives you crazy and that your health professionals may know very little or nothing about. Today we're going to talk about what ACNAS actually is. ACNAS occurs when the nerve is entrapped as it's entering through the rectus uh, muscle to supply the skin of the anterior uh, abdominal wall. Where does this nerve come from? Well, this nerve comes from uh, one of the branches of the thoracic nerve from the spine. The thoracic nerve from the back travels underneath the rib, gives off a branch at the lateral cutaneous nerve, continues along anteriorly until it gets to the anterior rectus sheath, takes a right angle, enters what we call a neurocutaneous tunnel. Now, whenever a nerve takes a right angle, it can get pinched or entrapped. This nerve also enters a very tight tunnel where entrapment can occur again. As a nerve emerges uh, at the level of the skin, it takes a right angle again. As you can see, this nerve takes a tortuous route from the spine all the way to the skin. There are multiple points in which it can get trapped and pinched. The pain of nerve entrapment can vary from sharp, stabbing, boring, burning. In fact, it could feel like anything at all. Left untreated, like any pain, this can become a type of chronic pain syndrome. Chronic pain, as we well know, is very difficult to treat, even if the source of the pain is removed at some stage. This is one of the concepts of pain theory. Pain becomes embedded uh, within the memory of the brain. Sometimes ACNES can be part of a broader chronic pain picture in conditions such as fibromyalgia, chronic back pain, migraines, and other chronic pain conditions. The ACNES that I as a gastroenterologist see is often isolated to just the abdominal wall. But in about 20% of cases, some of these patients have multiple causes of chronic pain. In these cases, the abdominal wall pain can be very difficult to treat without addressing the other causes of the chronic pain that the patient experiences. For instance, chronic back pain contributes directly to ACNES. The chronic back pain causes traction on the source nerve of the abdominal cutaneous nerve. Without treating the cause of the back pain, treatment of ACNES can be extremely challenging, if not impossible. You can see why we have to work very closely with pain psychologists, physiotherapists, and pain physicians. Acnes that respond well to initial injections but keep returning, or only partially responsive, are referred to our affiliated pain physicians for a trial of the new technique called pulsed radiofrequency ablation. This has been used very successfully in various chronic pain syndromes, such as uh, the facet joints of the back. We have used this experimentally in some of our patients with back and abdominal wall pain with great success. I hope you've had a greater understanding of the uh, mechanism of uh, ACNES after today's uh, video. We will be publishing more videos on ACNES and its treatment uh, in the future. Stay tuned.